Kilda guys, how's it going? Welcome back. Today we're working on Lando. You've seen the title, you've seen the thumbnail. It's new tie day, new winch day, and we're prepping Lando for a winch comp. So I've got some explaining to do, um, but first we'll take a look at the truck after our coast trip. So obviously the last West Coast trip was some proper hard four-wheel driving, the hardest I've ever done. Side note, huge thank you for all the support on those uh, videos. Those videos have done so well. We've got a lot of feedback. Everyone seemed to love it, so I was super chuffed with that. Um, if you've missed them, go check them out. Um, they'll be, I'll leave a link up there for you. Um, but yeah, man, what a fun trip that was. But uh, Lando did very well, all things considered. Came back with only a little bit of damage, which was surprising given that they were proper grade five tracks. Um, but yeah, we'll take a look at it. Um, so everything's pretty good up front, although I did manage to put a new dent in the bonnet. That shadow's making it hard to pick up. But uh, yeah, smack that pretty well. Um, what else? Oh, the power steering fluid went and overflowed, so you can see it's made an oily mess everywhere, it's spat out, and um, definitely damaged the pump. The pump does not sound happy, so <laughs> because the comp's only a week away, we're just going to top it up and run it, and I'll change the pump at a later date. Um, somehow ripped the indicator bulb and housing out of the indicator itself, so we've got that to deal with. Um, everything's pretty much all good down the side of the truck, except the rear bumper took a bit of a hiding. I do not know how the rear bumper end cap's still hanging on, but uh, yeah, definitely looking worse for wear now. Definitely worse for wear. Smash out the bottom lens from the uh, tail light. Good news is that can be easily glued back in because I've got the piece. Uh, probably put more dents in it, but I can't tell because there's so many now. Rip the flares loose, and yeah, that's about it. Um, the front panard rod has also come loose as well. Oh, and I managed to push this in a little bit because it have got a panel gap now, and that's that's all loose. But yeah, not too terrible. Um, I do need to tighten up the front panard rod. It's gotten loose down at that end of the. Um, rod and then obviously the winch itself you heard the gearbox and you saw how slow it was pulling this thing is absolutely shot um, so we're going to be putting a new winch in there as well so we'll take a look at all that for shortly but first let's go check out the new tyres righto guys so these are a set of 33 inch CST Land Dragons. 33 11.5 by 15s. Um, the reason we've downsized from the 35s that are on Lando now is solely because we are entering Lando in a winch comp in one weekend's time. And um, the class I'm running, you're only allowed 33 inch tyres. So, um, yeah, unfortunately, had to buy some smaller tyres than what's on Lando now. You may also remember a while back I picked up a set of. Uh, Mac 5 beadlocks and I was super chuffed to find those because they are very hard to come by especially in New Zealand and um, I got them powder coated didn't tell you guys what was happening but uh, we went with bronze uh, centers and black rings and as you can see they have come out looking just beautiful super super stoked with it I reckon they'll look awesome on the truck so small compared to the trips. Righto guys, well there you go, the back ones are on. I love the look of the Mac 5s, I reckon they look super sharp. I really like the CSTs as well. Um, I prefer the look of the trips, but the CSTs look awesome. It's just a shame that they're 33, because uh, going down in size is never cool, but yeah. Super chuffed with those. We'll get the fronts on and take a look at the overall vehicle. One thing I've already noticed just lifting them on and off, the CSTs are so much lighter. So much lighter, plus the fact they're a smaller um, tyre means the gearing will be better, so it's just going to make for a lot more responsive throttle. It'll make Lando feel like it's got more power, so that'll be perfect for the comps. Oh, 
Well, there we have it, guys. Pretty pleased with that. The fitment's not as good as before. These wheels have about 10 mil offset less and then combined with a narrow tire. Um, they just fill out the front guards, but at the back they, uh, not quite so much. But uh, I can live with that, that's all good. Super stoked with how those wheels look, really, really pleased. Um, the, going for the bronze was a little bit of a bold move for me, um, but I thought I'd give them a try and uh, I reckon it suits the truck really, really well. Um, anyway. Well, I guess we'll continue on to the next jobs. Um, actually, before I do that, let's have a look at a trip next to a CST. Righto, so we've got the tyres side by side. As you can see, there is definitely a height difference, um, which would definitely, you know, be expected, one being a 33, one being a 35. Um, for those of you who don't know, 35 inch trips, um, if you get them in a 15 inch rim, they stand up significantly taller than a 16 or 17 so if you can always go for a 15 inch trip um, and yeah you'll get a taller tire but um yeah as you can see the traps are feathering up nicely on the edges um, getting nice and uh, nice and grippy on the rock obviously as those edges break away you get more surface area better on the rock but it also means that uh, you will end up um, losing that hard edge for when you're full driving in the mud and that um, but yeah, despite these being a hard compound, still really nice and squishy um, lug. These CSTs, they feel slightly similar, possibly slightly harder. Um, but yeah, it'll be interesting to see how they handle. Um, Lockie runs those CST Land Dragons on his uh, Suzuki, which you guys have seen on the channel heaps. And um, they seem to work pretty alright on uh, rock. And Um, given the sort of they're not designed for that they're designed for just bottomless mud sort of thing essentially what we've got here is um, mud tire that works well in the mud and really really well on rocks and stuff like that and then we've got an extreme mud tire which works really well on mud and that but it's sacrificing the rock so it'll be interesting to see the difference but uh yeah it's a bit of a long-winded explanation but interesting to see the different heights and uh yeah I guess I'll give you a better review on the CSTs once I've run them. So the next job is to tackle replacing the winch. Um, I do have a very custom winch being built up. However, it's not quite finished, I don't believe. And even if it is, it's going to take a lot of modification on that front bar to make it fit. To be honest, we're probably going to have to build a brand new one. So seeing as the winch comp is coming up very, very soon, um, we're just going to put an off-the-shelf uh, Nova winch in. Uh, we've got it here. It's a Pro 1250. Um... So 12,500 pound, it's still got really good line speed, it's what dad's got on his uh, his disco, and um, yeah, these winches work really, really good. Picked them up from the guys at Force 4, <laughs> and um, yeah, I'm looking forward to running this. I actually purchased this for a different truck, one that you're yet to see on the channel, however, this is going to go on short term until I can uh, get this uh, new winch build uh, in. I'll tell you all about it in another video, it's exciting, but for the time being, let's get this winch in. sure how we're going to work around this fair lead. Those bolts there are likely going to foul the uh, front housing of the uh, of the winch just here so we'll see about that as well. I don't know if you can see down in there, but essentially the uh, fair lead bolts are holding the uh, winch off. So that is a bit of a problem, quite a bit of a problem because either we have to take the fair lead off or build a new winch tray because as you can see it's just sitting way too far back. So, hmm. So we're just going to have to do something about the lack of fair lead. Obviously if we don't run a fair lead it's going to just chop the rope up. So we'll have to figure something out there, but at least it goes in. So 
Seeing as this is just a temporary solution, my plan is just to leave the Runva solenoid here and just use the Runva cabling. It should all work just fine. Um, and then what we'll do is, I think I'm just going to have to cut cut this all out here because it's the rope's really close to touching on the front of that as well. So I'll just cut it all out nice and square. And then what we'll do is uh, we'll get some round bar and build a we fair lead around it so and then yes yeah, sorry i should say a weld on fair lead so nothing going through just welded onto the front and that should uh that should have us sorted one bar out and one very naked looking front end of a disco so uh yeah next step grab the uh vivid mark it out Get chopping. Right, so we've got the new hole all marked out. So uh, before we cut it, I am just going to uh, clean up this area here and weld up these two holes. And then yeah, we're cutting this outside edge um, so that, as you can see, the bar fits perfectly in there. So we've still got the correct width mouth um, to the fair lead. So. That's the plan. Quickly grab the welder, fill those two holes, clean it up, cut it, and we'll be away. So I went and did a bit of work off camera, um, just getting the pieces of metal cut. So as you can see, they're all cut to approximately the right length. I've gone ahead and done one, so that's got the 45 on it. Same at the other end, and uh, and it just pops in here like so. Well, as you can see, it's all cleaned up and ready to weld out. Ended up coming out pretty good, pretty pleased with the fitment of that, so we'll tack it and then probably take it outside. I do also want to uh, remove this winch spring, um, it will be for sale if anyone wants to buy it, just flick me a message, because um, we are going to change from the winch spring to winch horns, um, I'll show you how to tackle that, uh, it just suits um, competition a little bit better, so that's what we're going to do. So for the winch horns, what we're using are some U-bolts. So we've got these here, and the idea is that they get mounted up here. One there, one there, and then essentially you can wrap your rope across the top of it, rather than having to re-spool it back onto the drum every time. Um, obviously there's threads on them, you could just grind them off, or you could probably leave them, but I don't want it tearing up the rope. Um, so what I decided to do is I've got some tube with the same ID as this OD. And we'll cut this down so we can make sleeves and weld around it and then weld this onto there. So a little bit of extra work, but it'll be done right. lead all welded out I'm pretty pleased with how that all came up uh, the bottom welds a little bit ugly but the good thing is it's at the bottom there's a reason I did it first um, but yeah super chuffed with that so the next thing is just tidy it up a little bit and then we'll finally get some paint on it um, the little winch horns um, that go there we will put on once the uh, bar is back on the truck because we don't 
essentially the bonnet closes right over the top of that um, A bar and we don't want the bonnet closing on the winch horns, we want them just in front so we'll bear that in mind um, when we mount it but yeah we'll put the bar back together before we um, weld those on. So as you can see it's all painted now, looking really good. I just dropped the winch in and um, you can see what I mean about it having a nice big opening for accessing the drum. Um, super chuffed with how the welds came out. Uh, camera doesn't really pick it up too well but um, yeah next step is to obviously throw it back in the truck. As I mentioned before we're going to just keep the run for solenoid and wiring. Um, it'll be fine for the time being seeing as this is just a temporary solution. But yeah, making progress finally. Righto, so we've got the light bar back in, um, so yeah, it's literally all ready to put the winch in for the final time, hopefully. Um, so yeah, we'll lift it up, bolt it up, and um, then wire it up as well, and test it. Yep. And back in. <laughs> Sweet, there we go guys, got a working winch. And there we have it, that's job done, the new fair lead is done, the CSTs are on and the uh, Lando is ready to go and compete. Um, actually filming this a few weeks after the competition and uh, safe to say we had a really good time. I won't give away too much of what went on but it was a really good time and um, you'll see it all in the next video so stay tuned for that um, and hit subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss that. Um, I do apologise for the delay in getting this video out. Um, I've had it filmed for a while but I've just not really, not really felt it. Um, I hope it doesn't show in the editing but I, I don't know. <laughs> Didn't really feel like putting the time in on this video, so hopefully you guys still enjoyed it. Hopefully it didn't show it through too much. But um, yeah, we've got plenty more exciting stuff coming soon. Um, the winch comp, what happens after the winch comp, um, and we've got two new trucks on the channel, um, three potentially. So big things ahead. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. We'll leave it here. Give us a like if you enjoyed today's video. Uh, leave a comment down below of uh, what you think of the whole setup, and uh, yeah, we'll catch you all in the next one. Cheers, guys, for watching. See you.